signs and symptoms differ per person and particularly by age. In the youngest group, which we say are infants and toddlers, it's quite hard to figure out, obviously, because they're not verbal, but one of the signs or symptoms can be related to them not moving towards more textured foods or solid foods. Other kids, it may be actually problems with growth because of their poor intake or their discomfort related to eating. In, as they get bigger, it can be a still variety of symptoms like those, but also it could be things like vomiting, difficulty swallowing, or complaints related to abdominal pain. In school age kids, then it's more classically vomiting and abdominal pain, and this is where it can start to have difficulty swallowing. Once they're older kids, particularly by the time they're teenagers, the most common condition is called dysphagia. And that means it's difficult to swallow. It can feel like food gets stuck. It's sometimes even painful to swallow. And it's particularly even textures that bother them, such things like that are dry or thicker, like steaks or chicken breast or breads or rices. They can feel like they get stuck. Less specific things that aren't unique to EOE, which is eosinophilic esophagitis, is chest pain and heartburn. The compensating symptom that all the patients have is they tend to slow their eating down. So they'll be slow eaters or often the last at the table. They tend to compensate by chewing their food more extensively. And they often have a glass of water right beside them where every few sips or even every sip at times they'll be drinking to help wash the foods, almost lubricating it to get it down. The ones who uh, have these symptoms, it usually happens for quite some time. But occasionally there's not much lead time and it's the ones who present with food stuck in their esophagus and that call is called acute food bolus impaction. Mm -hmm.